Hi, we're doing some examples of trigonometric limits. This one is part one. Um, I have two examples written in here. Um, and start with the first one, limit as x approaches zero of sine of 4x over x. Well, if you go back to your uh, material, you see that you, you know something about this limit. Limit of sine of u over u as u approaches zero. This one is supposed to be one. Oh, this is very similar. How do I relate that to this? Well, I see that inside um, it has to be u, and over here I have 4x. So I'm going to assume this is u. But then it doesn't match up because then I will not have u in the bottom. So how do I uh, manage to have sine of u over u and then um, make this similar to that? Okay, here's the thing. You're going to change what limit you have uh, and put it in disguise. What are the disguises? Here, I want to have that format, so I have to have u in the bottom. Let's write this up. Limit x approaches 0, and um, u is 4x, so I want to have sine of 4x over 4x, right? But that does not equal to that. How do I make it equal? I've divided the entire fraction by 4, so I should multiply by 4 so I do not change the entire fraction. So what do I do? I decided that I need to have u in the bottom, that's 4x, but that would be different from here. See, this is not the same as that, so I multiply it by 4. Basically, I multiply top and bottom by 4 divided by 4. So I get what I want in the new denominator without changing anything. Now, this dude is the same person as that in different disguises, right? But this satisfies what I need. Now, what I have here is limit as x approaches u, so I'm, uh, as x approaches 0, and I'm saying 4x is u. So I'm going to rewrite it that way. Limit sine of and times 4, and then I write u here and I write u here. But if x is approaching 0, where does 4x approach to, or which is u? u approaches 0 as well. So now I get the answer to be equal to 4. So that was nice. And um, now let's, what did we start with this one? Um, I skipped one little step. I did not tell you in the video that the first thing that you do is you try to plug in, and you realize that the form is form, if I plugged in in the beginning, I would get form equal to 0 over 0. And that's why I went to check that formula and so on and so forth. Now let's go to the second example. This one is the second example. Limit as x approaches negative 2 of sine of x plus 2 over x squared plus x minus 2. How do I manage this? Let's try to plug in. If I plug in negative 2 in here, I get sine of 0, which is 0. If I plug in negative 2 in the bottom, I get 4 minus 2 minus 2, which is 0. So I have a form 0 over 0. Now, um, what's the next step to do? Form 0 over 0, I have um, a sine up there, and I have a um, polynomial in the bottom. It, it seems like I should be able to do something with the same formula because it's in the same section that we're discussing. So I'm going to put this again down here. And I'm looking at the sine of u. Okay, here I have sine of x plus 2. So it makes sense that this would be u, right? And what do I know? I plugged in x equal to x, uh, x equal to negative 2 in the bottom, and I got a 0. That means that that polynomial factors into x plus 2 times some other factor. What does it factor to? Let's, let's remember that part. x squared plus x minus 2 factors into um, x, um, let's say, plus 1, right? Negative 2. Um, no, x minus 1, sorry, x minus 1, x plus 2, right? Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, and they add up to be plus 1. So now I'm rewriting the limits. 
I'm rewriting the limit. Limit as x approaches negative 2 of sine of x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 times x minus 1. Hold on. We decided that this is going to work for us. So I'm eventually wanting to have sine of u over u. What do I do with that? Separate it. If both limits have, um, the both limit exist, then what you can do is you can write them as a product of the two limits. So I'm going to write it as limit of sine of x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 as x approaches negative 2 times the limit of 1 over x minus 1. Let's see, am I in the, in the in, yep. yeah, and so as x approaches negative 2. Sorry about the mess over there. What I did is that this part is just, a, if I plug in, has a value. So I want to just find the value of that one. What's the value of that one? If I plug in negative 2, I get um, 1 over negative 3, which is 1, negative 1 over 3, right? This one, I can use that rule. Have that to be u, have that to be u. Then, since x is approaching negative 2, and u is x plus 2, then u is approaching 0. So I'm going to have limit as u approaches 0 of sine of u over u times negative 1 third. And this is going to be 1. This part entirely is going to be 1. So the answer is going to be negative 1 third. And I'm going to stop, and then we come back with part 2.